Hello and welcome to my channel. I've got loads to show you as always and I can say hopefully touch wood that the cough has settled down because they've changed my asthma inhaler. Settled down it's not completely gone but let's see how we get on. Number one Yes, she's been crocheting again. Like that was an old one. Had that from ages and I had that one from ages ago. Handles and a zip. Let's open our zip. And lined. The only problem I found was it's not a very big opening. You can get in it. And it's got a middle piece in the material I mean it's good it's good but I thought I prefer a wider opening at the top anyway that's the crochet one what else have we been doing oh there was a <laughs> I've got to pull these out gently so it all doesn't fall down this is what I'm trying to show you today to go on holiday, have you ever wanted something for your iPad or laptop or whatever? So I got the jeans because I've got so many pairs of jeans and we now have an iPad padded cover. Simple but effective if you don't want to get your iPad scratched or yeah, broken or whatever. Very helpful one of those. The next bag is still using up the jeans. You know, <laughs> I have this hoard of jeans everywhere I'm not going to use, not going to wear. So I have to make something with them. This bag <laughs> got made out of, as you can see, it's the top. It's got its bottom and around the front it's got all sorts of things on it I'm trying to hold it steady for you it's got a crochet handle or handles if you like it's lined inside and there's even a pocket with lace on top inside each of the back pockets which you can still get into has been patched and that one's been patched. Don't know that light's doing us any favours, is it? I don't know if you can. There we go. The bottom was just one piece of material, just so that you can open it out at the bottom. This this one, you can still get into all the pockets. I like to get into the pockets so that it gives you sort of more pockets around the bag. That's just strips of material with a bit of slow stitching on. And that one was a doily with a piece of um, already stitched material, sort of like off of um, oh no, tablecloths and what have you. So that went on there. On the back, there's a piece of ribbony bit stitched on. But uh, all in all, a good size bag. Does the zip open? Yes, the zip's actually open. Perhaps I ought to shut the zip up. There we go. <laughs> Be decent bag. <laughs> so quite easy because all I've done is just cut it off at the top of the legs. Use the whole piece. Put a bottom on, put a top on, decorated it in various ways, lined it. I like to have lining in these. I do like to have lining. And there you go, nice. You can have it as a project bag. You can have it as a normal handbag. As long as you don't put too much weight in this sort because I'm not sure how stretchy that would be, you know? I mean, it's not really going anywhere. But it's, it's a good size for putting all my stuff in it to carry out with. I'm quite, I think I'm going to keep that one out. I'm quite taking a shine to that one. Yes. 
I do like that. <laughs> it's not until I show you that I think, oh, I could use that bag. So that was that bag. There's one more bag, and then there's some specials. Now, we'll see. One more bag. You're seeing this. Now, this is just a bit over the top, isn't it? If you can see, it's like scrunched up materials just put on that side. Then on the other side, it's any old bits been sewn on in no particular order. It's got some noisy bells around the top. It's been edged with ribbon, both sides. It has handles which have been sewn on with thread and it's lined. And then what's in this one? I like some, just some random pictures that I liked. Bit of a spoil on that, putting the bend in there, isn't it? There you can see it there, look. They were just pretties and nice things and I thought no I just fancy them so it's a bit of a a pretty bag is that the right way up no try that way Lynn <laughs> you see oh wouldn't you just love to live there I would what else have we got it's a bit brown but it's still very cozy looking I just some random pictures. I suppose if you you were doing a glue book, you could put them in a glue book. Because I've just done a thoughtful bag. That kitchen, double bottle of sink. Love them. Okay, one more. Just one more. And I'm done. There you go. Look at that. It's actually in a church. I've always wanted to live in a church. You know, obviously a renovated one. I just think it'd be fascinating. So they actually go, my pretties, go in my jingly bag. It didn't start life as a bag, I hasten to add. It started life when it was going to be a pouch. So it didn't have handles. And it would just be a pouch that Perhaps you'd put your materials in or your threads in. Just a projecty bag. But I found the little handles and I thought, no, I like them. If you wanted something just a little bit out of the ordinary, a little bit special, that's what you do. Just random sewing, you know, just random stuff. But I like random. They're good, they're good. The only other one I did... <laughs> it didn't make it do anything. It was a bit of... Just a bit of knitting. <laughs> you see? And it doesn't quite know what it wants to be. It doesn't know if it wants to be a bag. Sort of. Lay it flat, it might help down like that, a little handbag. It doesn't know if it wants to be a book cover. It doesn't know if it wants to be part of something else, you know, stitched on <laughs> something. It's not sure. So while it's not sure, I'll keep it and we'll think about it and we'll sort it out another day. It's always something good to have, isn't it? Now, I know you can see more here. These will come in the next video so that you don't get too bored or too overwhelmed or whatever. So I shall say, do give us a thumbs up. Do subscribe. You never know what's coming out of this craft room. Hope you're all safe and well. Take care and stay safe. <laughs> and it's bye-bye for now.